This sample will, will be for the stretch straight stitch. So the knit fabric that I want you to use for this one is a either moderate or stable knit. The particular fabric that I'm using is a silk jersey. It's two-way stretch. I can tell that because it stretches in the cross grain and in the length grain, but it doesn't have so much stretch. Um, it's only moderate. Um, if, it, if it was a four-way stretch, it would be more than a moderate because spandex would be added in there to allow it to stretch more in both directions. So since it's just moderate stretch in both directions, I know it's just considered two-way. And this one is a, a jersey, as I said, and I can tell that because one side has the ribs on it and then the other side has just the pearls. And I could see that close up either by eye or by magnifying glass if I need to. Okay, for this sample, I'm going to place these right sides together, match up those edges, make sure that you are using your ballpoint pins. The difference between regular pins and your ballpoint pins is that a regular pin is sharp and will actually go and pierce the yarn that the knit is made out of. And in a knit, you don't want to do that. So a ballpoint pin has a little bit of a rounded tip and it actually will push aside the yarns of the fabric and go in between the yarns rather than piercing through the yarns. So same thing with your machine needle, you want your ballpoint needle on there. And then we're just going to switch to our stretch stitch on our machine. So for mine, it's the number eight. It should look like a very um, narrow, almost slanted zigzag stitch. Uh, so check your machine settings. If you don't have this particular model, check your machi machine settings and see which one is the stretch stitch. And that's the one that you should use for this sample. So we're just going to stitch it at a half inch. With a moderate or stable knit, you can use your standard presser foot. If it was stretchier than that, you would definitely need to use your walking foot. And it's not a bad idea to use your walking foot on the stable um, or moderate knit either. But if you don't have one with you, you can always use, one, use the press, regular presser foot, but only for fabrics that don't have as much stretch. So start with your back stitch. And then this one always takes a little, you'll see it's, it goes a little bit slower. That's because it's working to do that zigzag motion. So even though my needle's moving really fast, my fabric is not moving through the machine as quickly. should have your stretch stitch and then as you stretch it those threads that zigzag allows the threads to shift and stretch with your material and the thread should not pop this is only appropriate for stable and moderate knits again anything stretchier those threads still have a maximum amount of stretch that they'll allow you to do with that zigzag. So anything stretchier than a moderate, you will need to use a surged seam to allow it to stretch the uh, appropriate amount. Okay. For this, um, the last thing you'll do is just uh, simply press it, bust it open, and then that will be, and make sure to use a press cloth on these knits. You never want to use an iron straight on your knit fabrics because it will leave a sheen on the fabric. So use your press cloth, bust open that seam, and then that'll be the end of this sample.